Buddhism is my working hypothesis. You know, I, I say it that way quite purposely. I never use the word, I believe in karma, I believe in reincarnation, I believe in this and that. Because as soon as we say that, we become intellectually lazy and then we sort of shop around. Oh, I don't like that, but I won't believe in that. Oh, I believe in that. I mean, but it's absurd, you know. And this is a crucial point. So people who even talk about, oh, I believe in reincarnation, well, how does it work, please? Oh, I don't know. What good is that? What's the point? There's no point at all. And that's very much the Buddhist approach. So, you know, if you're a full-on, you know, jumping in the deep end Buddhist, and I suppose I'm one of them, I chose to, you understand, I chose to take on Buddha's view as my view of the universe. So these years I'm attempting to study it, learn it, you know, utilize it, I have to speak about it and apply it in my daily life. That's what I do, it's my job, you know. I suppose if you say you're a mathematician, I'm presuming you're going to apply it. If you just say you believe in maths, you're ridiculous, you know. He is presenting his findings about what the mind is, what is happiness, what is suffering, how the universe exists. And it's up to us very much what aspect of that we choose to take on board. You can be a 1% Buddhist because you are the boss, not Buddha. Are we communicating here? <laughs> okay, good. All right.